and I just want to show you this little diagram here, the heart's magnetic field can be detected several feet away. It is the strongest field in the body. In fetal development, the heart forms and starts beating before the brain. And actually, this goes way back before heart math. They have shown that the heart sends signals to the brain more than the brain sends signals to the heart. So in a way, the heart has its own brain, its own heart intelligence. In fact, in some ways, it's more primary, more fundamental. Think how the heart field can be measured, say, at least five feet away based on just a a decent magnetometer. The brain field can only be measured a couple inches, if that, from your brain. So the heart field's much stronger, much more encompassing. So it kind of makes sense that it'd be more fundamental. Emotional states can be related to heart rate variability. And again, the way the heart beats and is related to the central nervous system can actually be measured, meaning different positive emotional states have a very characteristic frequency pattern. And negative emotions have a very chaotic frequency pattern. It can be actually quantified and measured, you know, the heart field. Let me just give you an example where you've probably experienced this field. Have you ever walked into a room and you could cut the tension with a knife? Well, that's an example of where you're feeling the fields. You know, we're actually very sensitive. And again, heart math has done studies to show that we can sense somebody's magnetic field like five feet away, even with a wall between the two subjects. So we have the ability to sense magnetic fields and other people's magnetic fields and their emotional states. You know, the body, mind, heart, earth connection is very profound. And this is one of the reasons why I recommend a low-intensity, low-frequency PMF device, like the IMRS 2000. You know, the Beamer is pretty good as well, and there's a few other uh, systems on the market. You want that frequency range to be in this 0 to 50 hertz range, and you want the intensity to be at the, a, a lower intensity level. And I've gone into several videos on why more is not better. And by daily supplementing an Earth-based PMF session, it helps to restore balance and coherence and health back to the body. It helps the body to synchronize. And this is why you want to use a low intensity because you just want to help to gently nudge the body back into in its entrainment. You know, of course, I recommend eating a good diet and drinking plenty of water and getting out in the sun, connecting to the earth through grounding and earthing, positive emotions, practicing emotional release techniques to say, keep your emotions positive, you know, and supplementing with an earth-based PMF system I think can really help.